What's happening, everybody? Mr. T here for another beer review sponsored by our good friends down at South Winchester Barbecue. Head down to San Jose, grab yourself some great barbecue, grab yourself some fantastic beer. And if you're thinking, well, I would, but yeah, I got the dog, bring the dog with you. You can hang on the patio. Hang on the patio with your dog, drink some beer, barbecue, you're all good to go. And that's exactly where this beer came from, South Winchester Barbecue. This one is Mike Hess Brewing of San Diego. It's a grapefruit Solis. I know a lot about beers, I have no idea what a Solis is, I gotta be honest with you. It's Solis? Solis. Anyway, whatever. It's a uh, IPA, grapefruit IPA. I knew Mike Hess once. I don't know if this is the same Mike Hess that I knew. I actually played basketball with a Mike Hess. He lived down in, uh, I think it was Corona Del Mar? Somewhere around there. He was down in uh, Orange County. And I'm wondering if it's the same Mike Hess. Maybe, maybe not. You're probably thinking, well, who cares? That means nothing to me. Granted, you are correct. Let's move on. This, I got, I got to tell you something. We've done a lot of beers here. And all the beers have been fantastic, and they've all been different, and the art on the cans and the bottles have been incredible. This is gonna be a first for me. This is going back like to high school. This is going back to even before high school. When's the last time you saw a pop top? Here's a damn pop top on this can of beer. That's like a relic. I feel like I just climbed inside Al Capone's vault and found this thing. A pop top. Made me more excited about opening it than I am drinking it. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, look at that. Let's, oh, oh, it's one of those. Oh, not quite a pop top. I don't know if we can get a shot of this, but this is, if you can see it, that's one of those I don't even know what that those, what that these, what that ease, what that, what is that? I don't know. See, the thing dangerous about this is with the, the, the mouth being so wide on it, these beers go down like that. And you'll take two sips of this thing and it'll be gone. You're like, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, you drank it. I did? I drank that thing? Like, this makes 12 ounces seem like about four ounces because it just goes down, gone, see ya. So if I end up spilling this all over me or end up drinking the whole thing or anything in between, what are you gonna do, huh? Woo! Wow, that one's got some pop to it. It's seven and a half, so it's not too strong, but the grapefruit flavor really kind of bangs you. And I like it. And again, I don't even like grapefruit. In fact, I hate grapefruit. I don't know why I like grapefruit beer. Maybe because I like beer. But grapefruit is just, I, I, I gotta be honest, I don't know how people eat that stuff. My wife loves grapefruit. Like she'll order a half a grapefruit and they just sit there and scoop it out and eat the grapefruit. And seriously, she eats it and I make this face. Ooh, how do you do that? How do you do that? Oh. It's just, I, grapefruit to me, uh-uh. No, 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 no. I, I don't do, I don't do anything grapefruit but beer. And I like this, this is really nice. I mean, a lot of you are probably familiar with the uh, Sculpin grapefruit. That's when fruit beer kind of started, at least in my mind, kind of started coming back a little bit because back, I don't know, 15, excuse me, 20 years ago, the, the fruit beer was all syrupy it was super sweet, and it just, it, I mean, it tasted like somebody mixed blueberry syrup with a beer, like a blueberry beer or whatever type of beer you wanted. Now, it's got like, like a tinge. I mean, you can taste it. It's definitely a grapefruit beer, but it doesn't, and I said it pops you, it does pop you because it's got that hop to it too. But it doesn't, it doesn't, it didn't feel sweet. It doesn't feel syrupy. It doesn't feel like it just overpowers the beer. You know you're drinking an IPA and it's just an IPA that has uh, grapefruit in it. And they've done a much better job, uh, the brewers now that are making the beers. I, I, if I had my druthers, there's probably about two or three fruit beers and, and 
Grapefruit's one of them, which is even shocking to me that I like and that I enjoy. It's kind of a, even though it's 7.5, I call them barbecue beers. It's kind of a cool barbecue beer. It gets a little warm outside, uh, and you just want to have something you can drink, and it's super easy to drink, and this is really, really easy to drink. This is the type of beer that uh, I would have, absolutely. This is good stuff, never heard of this before. And again, I love doing this because I've never heard of Mike Hess Brewing. Mike, if you're watching this and they used to play basketball against you, I think we beat you all the time, actually. No, you actually kicked our ass. Oops, can I say that? Of course I can, it's, it's my deal. I can do whatever I want to. Uh, yeah, they crushed us. If it's that Mike Hess, I mean, they, they were like a 3A school, we were a 2A school, we got hammered. Although I did drop 30 on you, so there's that. Anyway, if it is you, give me a call. <laughs> Good stuff though. I like it. Mike Hess Brewing of San Diego. Grapefruit Solis. If you know what a Solis is, he, he, somebody help me out with that. I don't think it's actually a type of beer. I just think it's a, it's a name. And it makes you think. And it makes you think, I want some more of that beer. I do. Thank you very much to South Winchester Barbecue. Again, that's where this came from. If this intrigues you, I would recommend it. Go down to South Winchester, grab yourself a Grapefruit Solis from Mike S. Brewing. Yes, sir. And again, if you want to bring your pup, hang out on the patio, you can do that as well. Thank you so much to South Winchester Barbecue once again for sponsoring this fiasco.